Susan Samples, thank you. A deadly house fire in Muskegon Heights has claimed the life of a 58-year-old man. The man whose identity has not been released was staying with a friend when he died on the home's second floor. News 8's Joe LaFergie live after talking with the men who rushed into the flames to try to help. Joe. Brian Sue, it appears the fire had quite a head start before anybody noticed it, but that didn't stop three men from going in and trying to save the victim. Kylie Hatcher, Zarin Bell, and the home's owner, Lane Luches, were working on a vehicle parked in front of the home at the corner of Keating and A Street when they smelled the smoke. I'm like, who, who having a bonfire? So when I look again, he like, no, the house on fire. So Hatcher and Luches headed into the house while Bell dialed 911, but they were driven back by the flames. As I go upstairs, it's a sheet right there. As soon as you pull the sheet down, just black smoke just come hit you. The other dude, he all the way upstairs. So as I go halfway upstairs, it's like, I don't know if he was standing up, and he tried to run towards the door, and it kind of pushed me back down because the flames got serious, and I just ran back out the house. Both Muskegon Heights and Muskegon City firefighters were called out. Muskegon City arrived first. By the time they reached the victim, it was too late. The fire had too much of a head start. The initial crews found heavy smoke coming from the second floor of the home. Even if they were five minutes sooner to the scene, it reported five minutes earlier, there was nothing that would have been able to have been done for this victim. Chief Dean says it doesn't appear there were any working smoke detectors in the home, which would have provided an early warning. Investigators are looking at smoking in bed as a possible cause. There's been some, some statements made about the individual was a heavy smoker, and uh, smoking does cause fires. Unsafe smoking habits it can cause fires, but right now we're, we're not sure on that. A condemnation sign appears on the front door of the home. The owner says he's been fighting with the city over that condemnation. It's unclear what role, if any, the condemnation played in the fire. Until I know all the factors, I don't want to, you know, point in any direction as to why the uh, structure was condemned. Chief Dean tells me they want to make sure that all family members have been notified, as well as getting some kind of positive ID from the medical examiner's office before they re release the victim's name. Live in Muskegon Heights, Joe Lafergie, News 8.